So today I'm going to do another repotting because I'm going to actually repot two of my plants. One of them is the Syngonium Neon and my and my Monstera Addisoniae because I'm going to put my Addisoniae on a stick. So that's quite exciting. Let's go. So here are my babies and my Syngonium Neon. I actually just repotted him maybe like five months ago, six months ago, and the roots are already going wild. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, I'm going to change them to a eight inch pot, which I just recently bought from Amazon. So it just, it was just delivered just now. So I was like, you know what, let's just, let's just do it now. So I just went to go get all the stuff and my cocoa peat, moss pole, whatever, is now drenching in water. So I, I can like get it when, you know, it can be all prepared. I have to drench it in water because then it just makes it more moist and it will encourage the aerial roots to go into the moss pole and to grow upwards. So that is my goal today. I'm just gonna start with something simple first and just repot my Syngonium Neon. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, it's like a pretty big upgrade. I'm gonna move in from this six inch pot i believe i think and do an eight inch pot eight inch pot i can i cannot say the words so i'm just going to start off with some potting soil and i'm just going to put that it's going to be big so it's going to take a while to do i really don't want to make a mess because i literally just cleaned my room just now there it goes. There it goes the mess. There's always soil everywhere in my room and I can't control it. I feel like at night maybe the plants just spit out soil somewhere but there's always soil everywhere. Who knows really. And I'm gonna put some mulch in there as well just to make it a bit airy I guess in the soil. For some extra aeration. I'm just gonna take her out of her pot. I don't mind some of the soil because her soil is still quite new, anyways, so this is the hard part. Especially when the roots have grown underneath, it's like really difficult to. It out, you know, because it's all tangled up behind here. I don't know what is going on in here. I should have done this bit earlier, but I just came back, so I'm just gonna have to do it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I don't know what's going on in here. Okay, 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 perfect, perfect. Whoa. The roots are amazing. I'll show you guys the roots without it being a mess. Do you guys see the roots? Wow. I love looking at roots. They're just amazing. And I usually just like make a hole in the middle and plop them in there. Amazing. Yep. He's looking happy. You know, so I'm just doing the finishing touches and filling the top with soil and just mixing it with perlite as I go. Because I really don't want the roots to rot because it's quite a big pot right now. So we are done with her. She's just looking really happy and she's just grown so much. So now that she's in a bigger pot, she's gonna even grow more and more. So yeah, I'm just gonna water her and then I'll be right back. Now we're going to move my Monstera Addisoniae. And I also have my pole here. 
works. I just usually do what I normally do is just put potting soil first and just mix the base. I mixed the base of the soil already. It's looking pretty good. I'm just gonna place the moss ball on here. Nice, nice. I think so. I'm just gonna make sure that it's stable. The moss ball looks pretty good. Take this baby out. And I got some bobby pins in here as well. this side to go up so I'm gonna flop it like this. It just looks better already. So it's looking good already. All I have to do is just fill it back. And if there's like spaces I just like push it gently down. This is what we have right now and I'm gonna use a orchid wire because I know these are stainless. And I think it's really important to use stainless because obviously you don't want like the your plants to rot, right? Because you're gonna be spritzing it with water and stuff, so you wanna make sure it's stainless. Okay. Oh, good job, good job. Ah. And I have this one which is like super long, and I want him around the pole. Take the wire. Tie him. I'm just going to make sure that the arrow roots touch the pole so it encourages it to grow inside the pole. So I'm basically done and I just love him so much better with the pole. I just think that he just, it just looks more fuller and better, you know? Because he has been growing a lot and the thing that I want to do is encourage his leaves to get bigger so that is one of the benefits of using a moss pole is that you know in nature plants will like especially aeroids they will try to trail up into any tree or anything that they can get a hold on and to trail upwards and that will encourage the leaves to get bigger so I'm just trying to kind of mimic what would happen in nature and so uh, the more that they trail up, the more that their leaves will get bigger. So that is my goal. I just think that he looks so much better and happier like this. So what I'm going to do now is just water him. And that's basically it. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. And I'll see you guys in another video. And I like to do these like short kind of, you know, easy going videos because I do like watching them. I like watching people like repot plants or like you know put them in a moss pole so I find that really interesting for me. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!